Hi guys! I'm Nick Saylor, I'm a tattoo artist and this is my channel, My Ink and Lives. So yeah, keep tuned that in this video I will gonna tell you guys how to prepare yourself for your first tattoo. Like if it's your first tattoo and you never have done a tattoo before, here I'm gonna teach you guys how you should prepare for a tattoo. First of all, you must have a good night of sleep. Don't go partying and then go for a, a tattoo next day. So have a really good night of sleep. And why is that? Because when your body is tired on the next day, you can faint or feel more pain. Because if your body is already very tired, it will not um, hold as much the, the pain. So treat your tattoo like if you were going for a i don't know like a surgery i know it looks like it's really tough but if you are going like for a surgery you will not be having a rough night right so first that's the the first thing have a really good night of sleep the second thing is you have to eat properly in the morning don't go for your tattoo with empty stomach because again you can faint and it's so common the people to faint in their first tattoo because they are already anxious about the tattoo and then if you are without sleep and without eat then it's for sure you're gonna faint and these things you know it, it, it is not good for your first experience so if you never had a tattoo you want your first tattoo to go well so like this will not put you off right so yeah have a good night of sleep and eat properly before your tattoo another thing prepare yourself for after the tattoo so let's say your tattoo is on the hand or, or is on the chest you have to think it will be painful after that so you don't want to have to do things that we are gonna use the, the part of the body where you got a tattoo. So if you work, for example, in construction or if you are a nurse or something like that, make sure that you have time off work after you had the tattoo because you don't want to get an infection. So yeah, this is my other thing that you should think about before you book a tattoo, book some days of work after your tattoo. If it's something small, it's not that much a problem, but if it's a big tattoo, you should think about that because it is the most painful, not when you are doing, I think it's on the next day. <laughs> yeah, so another thing is on the sitting, um, if you are going for your first tattoo, I don't recommend bringing a lot of people to the sitting because this can distract the tattoo artist, can disturb the tattoo artist and something that is going to be for a lifetime on your body is best uh, if you do everything for the artist to be comfortable to tattoo you. So one person maximum, it's the recommended. So don't bring the whole family, don't bring kids. It's only you and maximum, maximum, maximum one more person if you think you really need someone to be with you one person it's fine but don't bring like a lot of people so you don't distract the artist another thing is if you want to watch a movie or or be on your phone make sure you are not moving while you are doing the tattoo ah and bring headphones because if you put on the on the you know on the voice uh, low uh, in the loud voice and you're talking to someone or watching movies, also these noises disturbs the concentration of the artist and it's annoying. So bring headphones and also be careful when you are texting and when you are moving to don't move the parts of the body where you are getting the tattoo. 
because once again this is for a lifetime and you don't want to ruin it right so yeah another thing is if you're gonna make um do a sitting that is more than an hour or two bring with you a chocolate because the chocolate keeps your sugar levels um on point but if you are without any problem in eating chocolate i recommend bring something sweet either a chocolate or a can of coke anything sweet to keep your sugar levels on point um another thing is um if you are going to be late for your appointment give the shop a call even if it's only like 10 minutes late call the shop and let them know that you are running late because um, sometimes you are caught on traffic or something and the artist starts you know thinking that you're not gonna show up so if it's your first tattoo the artist don't know you and happens a lot that sometimes people booked and don't even show up on the day so yeah give a call to the shop if you are running late 10 minutes 15 minutes or whatever but the idea is to not be late but if you are late just let the shop know that you're gonna run late yes so another thing is be prepared for the aftercare so the tattoo doesn't stop only on the tattoo uh, sitting the aftercare is as important as the tattoo so 50 percent is the tattoo artist work 50 percent is your work when the tattoo is healing so make sure you listen to the to the tattoo artist um, recommendations of aftercare and buy the cream that the tattoo artist recommends and yeah don't forget to do a really proper aftercare <laughs> another important thing so if you are going to have tattoos on your legs make sure you put short pants or a bikini beneath your clothes and bring clothes with you that are comfortable that will not be squeezing the tattoo after you have done it because it will be painful and can damage the tattoo so if you are having tattoos on the legs don't put a tight jeans because it's the worst and not all shops have a private room um, that enclosure for you so it's very common the tattoo shops to be just like an open area and everybody can see uh, you getting the tattoo if you are in underwear so one recommendation is bring um, comfortable clothes and a change of clothes if you're gonna have tattoos on the leg if you're gonna have tattoos on on your foot on your feet it's also good to bring some flip-flops so like this you don't need to put socks and shoes or boots after that because also can damage the tattoo um, if you are driving or something and your tattoo it's on the arm they were gonna put you some kind of protection but also again it would be best if someone else was um, driving you home or if you take a cab I mean, all depends on how painful will gonna be your tattoo. If it's just something small, it's usually fine. But if you are getting like a big tattoo, you have to think that after that, it will be painful and to not squeeze the area with clothes. Oh, also, if you're having tattoos on your chest or on your back, put um, shirts that have buttons in front. So like this, you can turn the shirt and leave the buttons open so the artists have total access to your back anyway so think about the clothes um, to be accessible for the artist to do the tattoo and to don't damage the tattoo when it finish and you have to go home with these clothes long sittings be prepared to bring food uh, for your sitting because some tattoo shops don't have uh, shops around my shops have lots of options mcdonald's kfc whatever but i've been to tattoo shops where it was in the middle of nowhere and i didn't have where to buy food and i was starving after a six uh, hour sitting so yeah always bring some food with you yeah so hope you guys like it how to prepare for your first tattoo these are the main points but if you have any doubts put on the comments below and I can help you guys out if you have any doubts. And also don't forget to subscribe so you help my channel. And yeah, see you guys on the next video.